Hey everybody, T1 Glistenrelv here. Once again, playing in the Vintage Untap Open League. Uh, here's my deck, same as before. This is just Lurus Mono White Hate Bears, playing all kinds of cards that say either keep you from doing stuff or no, that that's it, that's it, that's what everything does. Keep you from doing stuff, keep you from killing my creatures or blocking them, uh, keep make you pay uh, upkeep costs for artifacts, keep you from searching take away your artifacts or enchantments, keep you from activating abilities, keep you from having a graveyard, that'll be important in this matchup, uh, keep you from drawing cards, and keep you from playing your spells on curve. Woo! Lots of fast mana, and a little bit of removal, path to go with uh, Arbiter, others in the sideboard, uh, Deafening Silence, Stony Silence, we'll have <laughs> Rest in Peace show up, and then uh, for my opponent, we have Good ol' this this is Green Sky Dragon, who is apparently, if I'm not mistaken, like the Gak player. <laughs> the Gak player. It is to Gak as I am to Infect, or something like that. Well, uh, that, because this is vintage, you get to play Gak. Indeed, you get to play uh, Bazaar of Baghdad, so uh, draw, act, tap, it's a land without the ability to tap for mana, but tap it, draw two, discard three. Well, guess what this deck tries to do? It tries to get this guy, <laughs> or people, because it's made up of a bunch of people, I don't know, whatever, into the yard, along with like f free 1-1s one and what Dryad Arbor, because you can fetch out a creature you can use for casting Gak, Deathrite Shaman, because we have a graveyard, Stitcher Supplier, Black Lotus, Mox Jet, and Ancestral Recall in the same card, Bloodgast, Vengevine, Hollow One, the whole deck is silly, and it gets to run Force of Vigor, woo! I'm looking forward to that. No, not at all. But I have no room to speak. So I'm on the play, it seems, and this is fun. Let me let me check the four wasteland and strip mine. Ooh, so I, I want to be a little bit careful about running out the Caracas first, I suppose. Uh, not that it matters too too terribly much. We'll go planes first, and uh, oh, itchy nose. Why all the itchiness? Uh, and then next turn we can fire off a wasteland. Alright, but there there we have it, I suppose. Uh, I'll say keep. Alright, and uh, I believe... Yep, keep as well. Alright, cool. And then uh, just you, just pass. We'll see what they play. Invariably, right, there will end up being uh, turn one bizarre into... Uh, if they play Hollow One, I might I might want to fire the Leoning Relic Warrior, but I don't think that's right. I think it's better to start off with a Wasteland. There's Bazaar, so let them only activate this once, hopefully. Hopefully. That's the plan, man. Now, the untapped open meta is weird. I believe we have zero Dredge decks, but we have Gak decks. I, I mean... Sure, <laughs> why not? I, I personally don't dislike Dredge, partially because the Dredge decks can be so blue that you can actually play cards like Force of Will and Force of Negation. Uh, but, you know, Dredge decks also just straight up lose to Graveyard Removal, uh, which isn't necessarily the case for Gak decks. They can have ways to get around it. Uh, for example, you saw the Mainboard Hollow One. Well, if you're a deck like mine with Mainboard Graveyard Hate, Hollow One does not care. Also, so they got a Root Walla and Mental Misstep, Verdant Catacombs. That is a weird looking Verdant Catacombs. I thought for a second I was looking at the, uh, oh, what was it, the, uh, the, the Popper lands. They come in, tap, bounce a land, make two of the guild colors. Oh, okay. So we do get to have our cake and eat it too. Hmm. Bibbidi bop. <laughs> Instead of targeting it, you know. Alright, so there's my land drop. Mmm. Alright. White, white, white. This may be this may be weird, but I'm gonna try it out. Leon and Arbiter. Make sure that we have an okay here. Path, no search. Unless you pay two. Just as a reminder. Oh yeah! 
It's open deck list. Come on, Jay. Come on. Well, derp. <laughs> it's a very technical magic term. Well, derp. Yeah, indeed. Uh, no basics. No basic forest. The the, I guess dried arbor is sort of filling that role. Not because it's a basic, but it's the m one monocolored one you fetch out. Ah. Uh, Let's try it this way. There we go. They always have it. So now what do you got? What you got? I did take away, thankfully anyway, one of their creature. Ooh. So yeah, that's exile. Wrong pile. Oops. There we go. Okay, so there's a bloodgast, and they're deciding and a bayou, and a force of virtue. Alright, that makes sense. I think the time has come. No! <laughs> oh no. We're getting big oh no vibes. Black, black, black. Uh oh. Wait a minute. Black, black, black is Stitcher Supplier. Okay, so they've already played their land, so I don't have to worry about blood gas. But if they can get another Stitcher Supplier out and they get a Venge Vine in the yard, then we're in trouble. Ooh. Okay, if they're dropping a hollow... Oh, no, 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 that's from Stitcher Supplier. Never mind. They didn't have a choice on that one. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. They have a Venge Vine, yes. All right. Alright, it's going to be a little too slow at this point, then. Uh, yep, yeah, Stitcher Trigger. Yep, this is silly. This is silly. Okay, well then, uh... Okay? Oh, okay, wait, oh, that's what they're casting, alright. Hmm... Dear God. <laughs> Alright, well, what can we get? That's our one path, mind you. Right on time. I just typed LOL. I know. I know. Well, hmm. <clears throat> Boop. Gotta do this again. Uh, I really don't think it's ideal to let that live. Let that keep living. And then we'll pass. No power. Too late to make a difference. <laughs> anyway. I think they got me. From play to graveyard. Oh! Oops! Oops! Missed it. Yeah, I... Okay, I don't know... I don't know how I missed that. Oops. Focusing on typing in chat, I guess. Whale. Whale. I took care of the first one, but... I don't know. Clean up your trash, Jay. <laughs> Clean up your trash, T1. It is called Wasteland, after all. Alright. I have a 2-2. Two -two. These are 1-1s. One -ones. Take five. Trigger time. Yep, they got there. <laughs> Whew, by the way, what is this card slave? Can't quite make out... What character is that in the sleeve on the sleeve yep number three <gasps> 
Why? <laughs> Alright. Yep. Yep. Yeah, okay. Uh, game two, we are bringing in so much graveyard hate. It is not even funny. Oh, yes, it is. Oh, see, for one of your novels, got a commission off Twitter. Nice! Plug yourself. You have my permission. Alright, alright. Now this is this is actually game. Unfortunately, this is game. So biggest biggest shenanigans I could do. I could try to kill Vengevine here, uh, but I would have to be giving up both my creatures, and then I take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, no, no, they got me. Uh, there's not a, a draw in my deck, unfortunately, that gets me out of this spot. Alas. The novel isn't uh, finished yet, but you're going to submit another novel to a small press soon. Okay. Hey, I mean, that works. I, I, mine is, and uh, it has been submitted. So, uh, hopefully we'll be seeing something about that before too terribly long. Alright, so let's say, finish and play another. Let's see. We'll record afterwards. Uh, keep existing deck open, sideboard. Sideboard time. Let's see. Uh... I'll play still Luris as my companion. After game one, that's important to clarify anyway. It's in my, it's in everyone's deck. I think everyone, I think everyone had some way of identifying Luris as their companion. Everyone who had it. But going into game two, it's just a being above reproach sort of thing. It, in my deck, Everything except Luris is CMC 2 or less. Uh, and I think that's everything, not just the permanents. I think it's actual, factual everything in the deck. I'd have to check again to make sure. Anyway, a Deafening Silence is fun. I don't know that that's worth it, though. But, uh, yeah, Containment Priest comes in. Chalice of the Void comes out. They don't cast enough actual spells for it to matter. We're going to take out Kataki. We're going to bring in... Uh, other paths. Rest in peace. Yeah, we're gonna have a ton of cards for this. Take out Stony Silence. I'll try to find room for that Swords to Plowshares. It's in there largely for, um, uh, for shops, but we might be able to make it work here. So take out Thorn. They are mostly a creature deck, as am I. So, Chalice is out, Deafening Silence is out. Uh, which of our hate bears? We already took out the one Kataki. Uh, Leon and Arbiter on the play might work. Relic Warder, other than hitting Hollow One, seems kind of bad, to be honest. But Hollow One is the one... Well, I mean, I did just bring in three more paths and a Swords to Plowshares. So yeah, we'll take out the Relic Warders. Leave one in the deck. And let's look through the rest of this again, just to make absolutely, positively sure. Mind you, Mother of Runes, I mean, Hogak is trampled. So, protection, sure, that's well and good, but Hogak is trampled. So this may not be, this may not be doing very much for us. In which case, maybe I go, you know, take out one Mother, bring in another Relic Warder, bring in the second Relic Warder. That might actually be the better way to go about this. Maybe. Grayson Revoker does not hit land, sadly. Oh, boy. Yeah, we're going to take out one mom and bring back in one of the Relic Warders. We're at 60 again, and we'll we'll try to make this a thing. Oh. What could possibly go wrong? All right, we'll try it. By the way, looking at their deck, part of the reason I want to keep some number in is because we do have to worry about Swords to Plowshares and Assassin's Trophy. So I want to keep some number in. Uh, maybe, 
I could have actually kept the, the fourth, but I think it's okay. I, I would like to have something to play around Hollow. I, well, okay. Didn't find either one here anyway. Uh, so this is actually not as consequential as you might think. It, it does work. Uh, because they don't have any actual dredge cards, Spirit of the Labyrinth will keep Bazaar bagged out from letting them draw. Early in the game especially though, they might legitimately just be okay with discarding cards. Uh, this is this is awkward though. This is awkward as heck. But we'll we'll pretend it's a thing. Alright, ready? So flagstones first. Now, watch out for Force of Virtue, mind you, that is a thing. Whee! In before Force of Virtue. Uh, Force of Virtue, Force of Vigor, that's it, Virtue. <laughs> Good lord. Yup. <laughs> yup. Whale. Okay. Uh, once again, though, depending on how their hand is sculpted, they still, still, after all of that, might be able to do something. Hateful, little hateful idol on. End of turn. Force. Okay. Which ones? Spirit and Mox Jet? Alright, they're gone. And then it's destroy, right? Okay, there we go. Never mind. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You're good. Couldn't be that easy. If only. Yeah, so they are... Uh, four Force of Vigor in the main board. Yeesh. Yeesh. Alright, so there's an Emerald. Keep an Anti-Spirit Hand game one, too. Kept an Anti-Spirit Hand. Nice. I, I piled on the hate cards. I, I do genuinely think that most of the time, I will, I will win with stuff like this. But, you know... All right, what you got? Oh, with a, a deck like mine with so many hate cards, I do think that most of the time I'd win. But then that can happen. Force of Virtue or Force of Vigor is a thing. All right, come on, Remorseful Cleric. Land. And pass. Next turn, we'll add Luris to hand. I would not like for Deathrite Shaman to get out of hand. Actually, maybe I should have done it that turn, but it, no, 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 that's that's correct, because uh, Deathrite Shaman can eat whatever I try to get anyway. No response. Adds a big end. By the way, that's a 1-1 one, one that's now a 3-3. Three, three. S3, so it's finalized. All right. What do we have? Thalia. Herder. Make sure that's good. Luris to hand. Alright. I don't think that's something to which they can respond, but, uh... Expand sideboard. It might be. Alright. Reveal the... I, 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 hello? Reveal the Luris, <laughs> and then put it in hand. And then, just for courtesy's sake, reveal it to all players. Just, just for the sake of courtesy. So next turn we can get a Lotus Petal for one, but I, if we draw a land, of course we'll play Spirit. We'll try to go from there. Also, another reason to play Bizarre is that it can win through a... Uh, uh, 
it can win through uh, not having Bazaar in hand. They don't need a Bazaar. It's great. As we saw last game, three Bazaars. This is also a deck that runs Strip Mine, four Wasteland, and two Ghost Quarters. Seven. One, oh, oh, yeah, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> If you happen to see someone weird like me counting on the dozenal system, yeah, I'm just, just weird like that. All right, take your time. Take your time. We might. I don't know the contents of their hand, but we might be able to sneak something out this time around. Again, though, they are mostly creatures. Uh, importantly to note, uh, you know, so they can still cast this, they can still cast this, they, they can still cast just about everything here. Uh, obviously, Once Upon a Time will be their entire turn, uh, and Force will still cost one in addition to, well, they can't cast it now, they have to wait till my turn, but you, you get the idea, they can still cast it. Uh, in addition to the pitched card. Uh, I mean, we're we're okay. Three mana assassin trophy seems <laughs> excuse me, less than ideal. Is that a wasteland? That is. What on earth? Is that a that's a custom promo, right? 2020. What? Wasteland Oh my goodness, I can't, I can't spell. Wasteland is that. Uh... Take it. There we go. 2020. The 2020 threw me off. Is that somebody's custom little bit that they did? Because the Zendikar Expeditions, that was when Battle for Zendikar was around, right? Which was not 2020. Hmm. <laughs> okay, I mean, I mean, in my defense. All right, what do we have? Thank God. Okay, though. Um. It's probably better to path this thing, right? In which case I could get back a Mox Jet so that it can keep doing its thing. I mean, they are tapped out with a Thalia out. Oh, but wait, path costs two for me. Ooh. Thinking. The restriction on here is once each turn, no sorcery speed restriction. Oh, Thalia. You're killing me, babe. You're killing me over here. Alright. Is it still worth it? I'd be at 13. What do they have in the yard? Not enough. Not enough to matter, I guess. So I can go one, two, three, Lurus, get out, Mox Jet. One, two, three. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh yeah, wait, 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 wait. One, two, three. Yeah, we're the the Mox Jet's still gonna take it doesn't matter how I do this then. It's gonna take my whole turn regardless. Alright. Kitty cat attack. Make sure that's okay. So there's my one. We're gonna get hit pretty hard on this next turn though. I mean, all right. Yeah, it resolves then. Well, of course it resolves, they're tapped out.
So you can't pump and use Astro in the same turn unless you draw a land. That is true, yep, yep. I, I am in playing around a card that they might not have. It's only a two of in the sideboard. What are the odds they'll have it again? And plus, if it's Swords to Plowshares, they can do it anyway. They're at such a life total that I'm not sure that it's ideal to go off here. Hmm. But I'm not going to block anyway, though. It's, it's fine to go about it this way. I'll try it. Vengevine's dead no matter what. No blocks. What you got? Take seven. Oops, too far. Little too far. Holy crap, little too far. Now what do you have? No! Okay. Alright. Untap. Throw. Woo! Let the hate flow through you. Okay, then. You got it. <laughs> Beep. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yep. All right. I mean, there's that. Combat? Hiya! And they can't pump? Go up three. Pastor. Okay, maybe, maybe we can say we've turned a corner. Probably not, but maybe. Hopefully, anyway. We can uh, chump with spirit and then get it back next turn anyway, if we have to. So far, no Gak in the yard. Thank goodness. Uh, well... <laughs> this is gonna be a little big brain, but... Oh no. I don't know if you know the, the Knuckles memes, but I'm, uh... Oh, that is a scrubland. Of, co no, of course it's a scrubland. I don't know why when I see this... I don't know, I, I had a, I guess, a tiny brain moment. For some reason, thought Savannah, I guess. Huh. Okay. Oh, so we can fill the yard. <laughs> insert epic, uh, insert heroic music here. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh... I mean, you bring in the extra copies for a reason, after all. So, uh... Yeah, that's a... that's a... that's a thing. Swing eight. Alright. Main two. Alright, 
casting that. And there's no reason to play this out now, so I'll just hang on to it. And I guess I will pass the turn. Oh boy, Mr. Krabs. <laughs> this is so stupid. Alright, well. They can indeed. Oh, missed two points of damage. You did? Or did I? Oh yeah, hey, uh, wait, it didn't have, it did have haste. It did have haste, right? I was at... Wait a minute, no, they had to tap it in order to cast Gak, didn't they? That's right. That's right. Oh, well. Maybe, or maybe I miscounted. Oh. You had enough to cast Gak without BG, Bloodgast? Aha! Uh Aha! -huh. Uh -huh. Let's see. Er, that. End this turn. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, I, I wasn't... This turn, I was tapped out? I was almost tapped out. I had two open in the pedal. The wind have thrown my ghast into spirit. Oh, creatures tapped out. Cre attack, tapped out with creatures. I got it now. I got it. Oops. 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 I gotcha. That makes more sense. Gotta play around that containment priest. Hmm. Alright. Well, let's do this first. Force them to activate a blood gap or a basking root walla ability now. They want to, now's the time. I could also, I mean, so basically I can activate, I can name Basking Ritwala or I can name Mox Emerald. If I name Mox Emerald, then if they draw a land, they won't be able to get Assassin's Trophy out. If I name Basking Ritwala, I make both of their creatures one once. Uh, and yeah, Green Sky, okay, we're doing it now. Okay, that's just to signify it has it. Noise. In that case, hmm, should probably yeah. I'll name Basking Rolla. Geico Gecko. That's not how you spell Gecko. That's how you spell Gecko. Let's just add the note here. Close enough. Close enough. Alright. And then we will, I guess, go to combat. Hiya. Uh, presumably, obvious block is obvious. They, they don't want to die. Ooh, okay. Sure. <laughs> As my six-year-old would say, Tackle Hug! <laughs> yep, that is indeed what's happening here. Can confirm. Main two. Lyris is a card. Lyris is a card, all right. Lyris is a beast. Alright, and then pass. Uh, Lyris is actually not a beast. Lyris is a cat. That is a, that is a distinction that matters in magic, as it turns out. Just a little bit. Just a lot. Crack all the knuckles. And knuckles. 
I'm not here to not go for it. Oh god. Oh no. Spirit. Uh-oh. Game three. Okay, okay. Oh, we got there. All right, all right. Oh, yeah, so that would have been a game loss anyway. Um, for breaking the rule of spirit. Draw for turn, and then the extra cards were drawn. Oops! Oops, thankfully it didn't matter. Alright. You'll play? Also, still with Luris as my wife. <laughs> just, to, just to clarify that, I guess. Right, is there anything else that we'd like to change between the play and draw? Not that I can think of. Uh, Leon and Arbor is going to be a little slow here. I, I have a sneaking suspicion... Hmm... Oh my goodness, Jay. Yeah, let's go back up one mom and down one relic order. Although, being on the... Okay, now wait a minute, this might be wrong. Being on the draw means that obviously my opponent gets to go first. I get an extra card to find that second white source for Relic Warder. And uh, my opponent is more likely to already have a card in play, like a hollow one, that I could take. However, looking at the list again, aside from Moxen, it, is it really just hollow one? I mean, because they're, they're not bringing in Chalice against me. I would be... Awfully surprised if that were the case. Obviously, no, that doesn't make sense. Uh, and they have... Did they have Thorn in here? No, we have Thorn, they don't. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, no, um... While that logic, I think, makes sense, I just don't think that there are enough hits for Relic Order. Uh, in fact, if I could find... another way... So, take you out. Oh, wait a minute. Yep. Alright. So we're back to 60 with the four moms in. <sighs> I'm gonna look through one more time just to make absolutely sure. Rest in peace, would you please show up? Please? Pretty please? I would, I would appreciate that. Only a bit. Only a good bit. Alright. Alright, shuffled for me. Uh, they said they were thinking. I'll wait till they're, they're done thinking so I don't give any information away. It's a pity, too. Double Remorseful Cleric. Well, it's certainly not the end of the world. That's not bad. We take those, for sure. Uh, except this time we can't. Okay. Okay. Actually, think in my deck list on the on the untap in the untap Discord server, I uh, included some weird line like not is my companion, but with something like, sorry I had to bring Junior along, which is a reference to the stories that I came up with, the, the short stories, to let people know that the, the tournament was coming. I had one in the everyone ping, it's a, it's a two-part uh, story about someone uh, getting woken up by a, uh, over here, by a Luris. Mulligan back to seven, please. Okay. That's pretty land heavy, and we don't have any hate pieces. We do have the sword supply shares. We have a mom. This is definitely better than going to five, for sure. Not even go close, night and day. Uh, so we can, and we can get the double white if we strip mine our own flagstone, if we have, or, uh, no, no, not strip my ghost quarter or own flagstone. That's it. That, so we'd get the white from ghost quarter. Ixen Crawler may search the library. Okay. And then we also get the white from flagstone. Flagstone is the true care. That is a thing. That is an option that we have. 
So we, we keep the Ghost Quarter over the Strip Mine because they don't have any basics anyway. And a uh, Ghost Quarter, it, it, like Strip Mine, it just destroys a land. But it keeps that utility of being able to hit our own stuff. Uh, there's no way I can keep both of these. Th this has to be the cut. I could try to get greedy and keep Mox Pearls, my only white source, but that's not that's not actually a thing because they have four Force of Vigor and they've already represented that they will use them. Keep. And then I have to put back something. So we will put back... No! Whoa, 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 whoa. That's not it. Whoa, that would have been a thing. That would have been a thing. Uh, deck bottom. Okay. Yup. Instead of no response, it's yup. Alright, let's keep track of this. Uh, once upon a time, Mox Jet. Poor once upon a time. Can't catch a break. Ooh! Hi, Wasteland. Let's just keep the mono land destruction hand. Alright, one. Pop. <laughs> Alright, and then I guess I'll play the mom out first so she can protect things like Phyrexian Revoker. Alright, and then pass. I don't think we really need the Source of Plowshares right now. Not yet. We'll get there, but not yet. So right now we don't have any Bloodgast, any Venge Vines, any anythings, <laughs> any Hogax, nothing. All right, what you, what you got? What you got? Ooh, hi. Hi, Drarber. <laughs> Sound like Kermit the Frog saying that. Hi, Drarber. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> you thought the cards were... Okay, no, okay, stop that, Jay. Stop that. All right, mono land destruction. Let's go. Hmm. So w this this dry arbor is dead. But which way am I killing? How am I killing this thing? Which way? Do you know the way? I think we'll. I think we should keep the swords to plowshares. Un unfortunately, I think that that's probably the better way to go about it. There is a temptation to develop my board, but it's probably better to keep them off lands right now. Aha! Uh -huh. Alright. Now we can kill the Stitcher Supplier by blocking with the Mom, uh, but I don't know that that's what we'll end up doing. Alright, this is silly. This is silly beyond all reason. Swing one with Mother of Runes. How many times has that been said in the history of magic? Alright, now that said, Source to Plowshares can kill it, but aside from that, no. And, it doesn't have anything to protect anyway. I mean, we're, we're racing a Stitcher Supply- no. <laughs> this is not a thing. If I can stall for long enough, I was not specific enough. I will remember that, Deck. <laughs> Take one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know what was mi oh, what was missed there. Hmm. Uh huh. Well, I don't yet know what to name with Rootwalla with a uh, Rootwalla with Frixing Revoker, but the temptation is certainly there to name Rootwalla. For sure. So no matter what, we're playing the flagstones here. <laughs> Lands go on that side. <laughs> uh, because it turns off even strip mine from the opponent. Even strip mine. 
I don't want to cash in my revoker just yet. Although it's probably going to end up, yes, naming Basking Rootwalla. Trick with that though is that Basking Rootwalla is a 1 1 versus my 2 1. Right, swing 1. Main 2. Right, I dare you. I dare you. I double dog dare you. Why did I make a square? Put these together to form a square. A box! <laughs> Why not? Actually, there's a box in the middle, and there's a... Yeah, yeah, there. Okay, okay. We're being silly. This is... This is... Real clever, Jay. Real clever. Oh, okay. There we are. Hi, Rip! I mean... I mean... You know... Main two. Whee! All right, let's make sure that it resolves first. I mean, it, it they will resolve, but they could like, I don't know, force of vigor. All right, let's see. Send all to exile. There we go. We got there. Because the order matters, right? There are no cards in the game that care about the order of your exiles. So thank goodness. Uh, we will say... Pass. Alright. Force. 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 Boom. So she only protects creatures, sadly. Mox plus rip. Response. We, we would like to use the swords here so that this gets exiled and they don't have a, a trigger when it dies. Yep, alright. There we go. So let me take a look at that one more time. Excellent. Okay, no, that, that's correct. That's correct. All right, we're good. We're good. Oh boy. Okay. Okay. Oh, so they have no land. Uh, they have one land and a card in their graveyard. Hopefully, we cannot mess this thing up. Big if, but hopefully, we're okay. That's the plan. <laughs> Mother of Runes aggro. I mean, you do what you gotta do, right? Alright, giving this card away... Hmm... Maybe I'm not supposed to do that. Maybe not. Let's see if this is alright. Le Gecko Gecko. <laughs> and then pass the turn. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. So we should be, we should be, we will be able to start swinging for two here. Of course, now they're going to actually find stuff, because of course that's how this works. My deck is actually is kind of slow, or at least it's being slow now. All right. Hmm. Well, 
Let's go. Yeah, I see that. I see that. Target source. Pro green. Alright. Combat. Hiya. Right. Main two. Waste on Bayou. Alright, they got there. Never mind. They got there. And then we will pass the turn. Okay. Come on, Mono Land Destruction deck. <laughs> mono Land Destruction. Let's go. Mono Poke for two. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. Same. G. Poke. Can we get this to work? All right. Main two. No fetching. No fetching. Down here. My eyes are down here. There we go. Alright. For as long as possible, I'm going to try to keep one artifact out so that if they try to use force, they'll have to two for one themselves. If at all possible. Plus, you know, I have a mom to help protect. Alright. And then we pass. Whoa, that was quick. I, I thought, wait a minute, I was looking at chat thinking I had uh, met, seen that incorrectly. No, no, we're okay. Uh-huh. Well then. Alright. Do the same. The OG. <laughs> Hiya. Swing four. Oh, they got there. Main two. Play a land. Floofy kitty time. <laughs> there's a there's one way of putting it, I suppose. Uh, expand sideboard. Add Floofy Kitty to board just to reveal it, and then add Floofy Kitty to hand. There we go. Alright, cool. Very, very technical magic term. Floofy Kitty. And yes, I could have done that sooner. I do not want to give them anything to get, any way to get value out of Force of Vigor. Though, that may have very well been incorrect. Another downside to that, though, is that if I if they used Force on the Mox, I wouldn't have the ability to cast Luris anyway. Uh, so I'd let them two for two and wouldn't be able to get the payoff for it until I drew another land or a Mox anyway. Uh, it's It may very well have been correct, and it, we are fortunate, too, that we drew the Leon and Arbiter to make that decision a little bit easier for our turn. Too true. Oh, wait, 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 what? Go. There we go. What happened? Why did it... Did it just not register the first time? Yeah, I guess it just didn't for some reason. Okay. Hi, Caracas. Uh, well, okay, we'll just do that instead. I guess... Ooh! What if they try to rem well? If they try to remove it. We have two separate moms. I, I think we'll be okay. Two moms. <laughs> I think we'll be okay. There's some moron on Twitter that got a uh, uh, the the something about like I have two dads, and then someone found another dad of his. And, I have three dads. <laughs> this is something stupid like that. Okay, what's in our yard? Uh. A mox? We can get a mox back. That would let us play Rest in Peace now. Yeah. Alright, let's do this. Ra 
Rar. Float Woo. Okay. So that means that we, uh, hmm, nothing, nothing. That means nothing. Uh, okay, never mind. Uh, yeah, Lyris lets you cast one for, per turn. For whatever reason, I was misremembering that I had an empty hand and rest, I knew rest in peace was in the yard. I was misremembering I had an empty hand, so I couldn't play a mox here. Uh, wow, Jay, wake up. Uh, wake up. It's a good thing you're winning now. <laughs> Are you winning, son? Thank goodness, yes, because... Oy. Oy, oy, oy. Alright. Nine to five. Okay. Right, I think we've got this. I think we have, uh, we have officially... Pro Green... Sky Dragon. <laughs> That's what I'm going to be using. Oh, they have seven cards. They could actually, <laughs> theoretically, start discarding cards to hand size. I mean, they don't have a, a chance here, but, you know. You know. Oy, oy, oy. Ah, GG's. What was in hand? By chance. Maybe they'll reveal and see what they had. Oh boy. Oh! <laughs> so I was right to be worried about Assassin's Trophy. They just never got the mana to do it. Not those. Yeah, uh... Oop, oops, oops. There we are. That is a... That is a thing. <laughs> that is a thing. Never... So... Assassin's Trophy having two colorless pips in a similar way that my deck doesn't like Leon and Relic Warders double white. Uh, they had two mana in this game, but because of Wasteland not being able to make uh, colorless mana, or make colored mana, only making colorless mana, they weren't able to cast it. Uh, additionally, there was a point when Dryad Arbor was a thing, but, you know, they can't tap that on that turn, even if they had another land then. If I could hit Bazaar, I imagine it would have been able to... Almost certainly. If for no other reason than filtering and hollow one. Yeah, hollow one would have forced me to end up using that sword to polish it. If I had already used it, I would have been punished hard for that. Told my deck I needed to land. <laughs> Alright, so fun, fun, happy moments with T1 Glistenrel. I do this thing every now and then where I like, uh, like kiss the top card of my deck as if it's a, as if that makes any difference. As if that actually changes what gets drawn. Uh, relatively recently, as in within months, I uh, kissed the top card of my deck, and it was the one card it needed to be to win me the game. It's become a mince. It's playing a white affinity player. Uh, wait a sec. Uh, sorry about that. You played. Well, given what happened, I'll take care of that for you. Mind you, uh, Green is 12 hours ahead of me, which means that Green is at, at least 6 hours away from most other players. There's some Australian players, or uh, at least one, but for the most part, Green is way ahead and scheduling these events is hard. So, when you get to the point where you can't make top 4 anyway, it's all good. I appreciate the game. Uh, I can't use my friend. I just can't spell it for some reason. There we go. Turner is going to hold eighth card to discard hands while he plays a rip. <laughs> uh, uh, oh. I'm glad that Thalia didn't make that awkward for me. Another time when I did the K 
kiss thing was my winning in for day two at Grand Prix DC. The only Grand Prix in which I've competed in the main event. I've done side events and others, but the main event was 2013. The, the one that Owen Turtonwald won before he won, like, the, literally the next week. He won two consecutive GPs. Uh, I was playing against goblins and kissed. Actually, then I was married, so I had the ring, took the ring off, kissed it, put it on, or something weird like that, like put the ring on, kissed the ring, put it back. Anyway, some some silly little ritual and drew the card to win the next turn. So that was fun. That was great. Good times. Uh, my my opponent was as downtrodden as I was excited, so I, I worry I may have celebrated a bit too much. Hoping you, hoping you keep you off Luris that last turn, but then you hit Mox. Uh, I had Mox in hand for a couple of turns. I slow rolled to deprive you of value with force. Um, and also I and and I had a turn with Arbiter anyway. Yeah, that, you'll get, you'll get to see when you uh, watch this recording later on that that Monk Sapphire. I, it could very well have been the case that I was supposed to. And, and as it turns out, this this force of virtue, force of vigor here. If it, mm, I guess this one was one that they just recently drew, given that it's drawing them from this side. So they might not have had it. Um, if they did, then that would be a little awkward. A little bit. Could have just done seven draw. Alright. Reveal all... No <laughs> containment priest this match either. She hates me. <laughs> what did I ever do to you? What did I ever do? I played you in Death and Taxes. You owe me. <laughs> oh, well. Ye ah, there it was. Yeah. Yeah. And also, she only prevents uh, creatures from entering if they weren't cast. Non-token. So it will prevent Bloodgast or Vengevine, but not Hogak. Um, though, casting the Hogak in the first place is harder when they can't use those creatures. Uh, but it's not its not the be-all, end-all by any means. She's there. She's good. She's better than cards I was taking out, but she's not. You're not all right. All right. Well, thanks for playing. Thank you so much for playing my game. Whatever, at the end of Mario Kart 64 or Super Mario 64, one of those. All right. Take care. And uh, that goes for you all as well. Take care. Oh, wait a sec. Now, now we get to record it. Now we get to say it's our win. Now it counts. Ooh, I may actually play some EDH here in just a moment. Mmm. One of these. I'll end up playing some EDH at some point, but that's it. Take care, everyone. I'll catch y'all later. Bye-bye.